What's up guys, it's Sky Schoolie here, a staff writer with business.com. Today I'll be walking you through how easy it is to process payroll with Gusto. Let's dive right in. All right, so your Gusto dashboard will look something like this. And here you'll see a list of upcoming to-do items such as reviewing employee expenses and time off requests. For the sake of this demo, we'll just assume that you've already done these approvals and you're ready to run payroll. So over here on the left, you'll click on the payroll tab. Okay, so for this demo, we'll say that we're running payroll for the most recent payroll. I know that the system said that we're running a late payroll, but that's totally fine. So once you have those dates selected, you can click run payroll. On this page, employee hours and earnings will auto-populate for you. For example, over here on the right, this $10.50 is an expense that was already approved. If you need to make any edits or modifications, you can just do that very easily. So Hannah Arendt here is a salaried employee. So 80 hours would be the default, but you can edit that if you want. But do understand that these edits are going to automatically change her taxable gross amount over here on the right. If you need to add any other kind of earnings, you can do that in this column here. So let's say Anna is getting a $500 commission, and then you can save that, and that will auto-populate and automatically be added to her taxable gross amount. If Hannah doesn't necessarily have a readily accessible checking account, you could always easily change the method of payment right here. Another thing, let's say that you wanted to skip the given payroll for Hannah, you could just click on that and then Hannah is immediately taken off that given payroll, but everyone else will still be included. Now, if you scroll down here, we can see hourly employees. This information can be adjusted just as easily as hourly employees. And you can also add a personal note to a given payroll if you want. For this example, we'll add a note to Emmanuel's payroll saying, good job. He did great this year, <laughs> or this payroll. So when all edits are made, you can scroll down to the bottom and click save and continue. This next step is checking time off requests. For the sake of this demo, as I mentioned in the beginning, we're gonna assume that we've already went through and approved these. So they would auto populate here. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see Ludwig's time off request for the, is for this pay period specifically. So once these are good to go, we can hit save and continue at the bottom of the screen. This next screen is where you can double check everything that you just did and make sure that all of your inputs are correct before submitting. If you want to, you can click into each of these and see a breakdown of what gets tax and debited, what your employees work and take home, and what your company pays. For this demo, we'll just assume all this information is correct, skip right past this. So then you will click submit payroll. Great, so that will load your confirmation page showing that you successfully run payroll, yay. So Gusto will debit the payroll amount from your company checking account. In this case, it's just over 27,000. On this page, you can also view all the same payroll details as the page before. Okay, so although we're done with payroll, Gusto does offer some flexibility. So say you made a mistake and you need to cancel payroll. You could do that by clicking right here. Or you can also go into the payroll history tab and cancel it there as well. When we spoke to a Gusto rep, they told us that you should be able to cancel the payroll all the way up until I believe 3.59 Pacific Standard Time on the day that you're due to process payroll. If you need to cancel it after that deadline, you can contact Gusto's care team and they'll cancel it for you on the back end. So that was it. As you can tell, it's very easy to run payroll with Gusto. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.